Shout out Sham Sharania. Here are some draft notes. Some players. Michael Foster, Jabari Smith, and Shadon Sharper, who we'll talk about. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Like and subscribe for over 150 videos a month regarding the NBA draft, the NBA free agency, every NBA team, anything you can imagine in between. Hit that subscribe button. So let's get right into it. So Auburn's Jabari Smith, who worked out with the Magic and the Thunder is a virtual lock to go in the top two. He remains the favorite to go number one. Everyone agrees that Jabari Smith is the best fit for the Orlando Magic's roster. And if you had a bet on it, you should put it right now that he's going number one. That's all I have to say. And if he isn't going number one, he's going number two. But he's going number one. The Magic aren't going to take Chad Olmgren. Now, Shadon Sharp is known as the mystery man of... The international man of mystery of the NBA draft. Shadon Sharp is a projected high lottery pick, but there's a strong group of workouts that he has conducted between three on three, four on four scrimmages, showcasing his ability for teams who have not seen him play organized ball over the past two years. And instead of conducting individual workouts, Sharp sought out the competition, working out with teams between the draft ranges of 1 through 13. What an incredibly smart thing to do on his part. I actually, on my most recent mock, I had him sliding to the New Orleans Pelicans. And it wasn't against anything for him. It was just that I felt like a lot of teams were, were becoming scared. And I don't know if that's just going to be a narrative that gets developed as we get closer to the draft. But I think Shade on Sharp's a lock to go top ten. I, if you wanted to put money on it, I wouldn't. I would go top ten, but I wouldn't put money for top five. He could go top five, the four or five. But I think Jade and Ivy will go at four. I think five's the earliest he can go. Five to set. Five to eight is his range. Personally, I believe Shade on Sharp will not get drafted no lower than five, eight, but I don't think he'll get dry, drafted higher than five. Now, G League Knights Michael Foster Jr. will end up working out in total for 15 teams. He's a six foot ten almost build with expected versatility at the next level to make him a sleeper who can play the center and power forward position, but can also defend the small forward position, the wing position. Through 13 games for the Ignite last season, Foster averaged 15 points and a team high 8.7 rebounds per game. I very much like that. So I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think of this? A little short video on the draft notes. Just draft notes. You know, that's what they are. We're keeping you updated with what's going on in the NBA draft. Shout out Sham, Sham, Sham Sharania for this information. Like and subscribe. Hope you guys do have a great day. Coffee's great, especially when it's black as the moodless night.